dear students welcome to the second lecture on theory of equations in the first lecture we were discussed uh, fundamental theorem of algebra and one subsequent theorem in this lecture i will explain two theorems regarding the complex roots and quadratic thirds as roots for equations also we will discuss some problems related to the theorems first of all i wish to explain a polynomial equations a polynomial equation is of the form f of x is equal to a not x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus a n equal to 0 is a polynomial equation a not x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus a n equal to 0 is a polynomial equation in terms of x with a degree n then a number alpha is called the root of this polynomial equation if alpha is a zero of the polynomial f of x in this lecture we will discuss about the zero of some polynomial equations in this regard at first we will discuss one theorem related to the complex roots so let us discuss the statement of uh, this theorem if the equation a not x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus etc a n equal to 0 where a not a1 etc a n are real numbers with a not not equal to 0 has a complex root alpha plus i beta then it also has a complex root alpha minus i beta here we have to prove or we have to discuss the theorem that uh, if alpha plus i beta is a root of this polynomial equation then alpha minus i beta also will be a root of uh, this polynomial equation in other words we can say that uh, complex roots occur in conjugate pairs for a polynomial equation with the real coefficients remember that uh, here the coefficient coefficients of uh, this polynomial equation will be real numbers now let us discuss the proof of uh, this theorem here f of x is equal to a not x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus a n is the given polynomial function and suppose uh, alpha plus i beta is a root of the polynomial equation f of x is equal to 0 now consider an expression x minus alpha plus i beta into x minus alpha minus i beta i'm simplifying this can be written as x minus alpha minus i beta and x minus alpha plus i beta that will be of the form a minus b into a plus b then you will get uh, one expression x minus alpha whole square plus beta square 
now divide this equation f of x by this x minus alpha whole square plus beta square then you will get a quotient and we are we can take that quotient as uh, q of x uh, and uh, one remainder let it be x plus b then f of x will be equal to x minus alpha all square plus beta square into q of x plus ax plus b in other words that will be equal to x minus alpha plus i beta into x minus alpha minus i beta into q of x plus ax plus b now since alpha plus i beta is a root of uh, that polynomial equation f of alpha plus i beta equal to 0 plus a into alpha plus i beta plus b here we are putting x is equal to alpha plus i beta then this term will be equal to 0 the entire expression will be equal to 0 and the remaining term will be a into alpha plus i beta plus beta that is equal to a alpha plus b plus i into a beta but uh, alpha plus i beta is a root of uh, this polynomial equation f of x is equal to 0 therefore f of alpha plus i beta equal to 0 therefore we can say that a alpha plus b plus i into a beta equal to 0 that means uh, the real part and uh, imaginary part of this expression will be equal to 0 then you will get a alpha plus b equal to 0 and a beta equal to 0 but beta not equal to 0 therefore from this equation you will get a equal to 0 and if we are putting a equal to 0 in this equation you will get b equal to 0 Therefore, we will get the remainder ax plus b is 0. That means f of x can be written as x minus alpha plus i beta into x minus alpha minus i beta into q of x. Therefore, x minus alpha plus i beta into x minus alpha minus i beta is a factor of f of x. Therefore, we can say that uh, alpha minus i beta is also a root of f of x is equal to 0. Therefore, we can conclude that uh, complex roots comes in conjugate pairs. Now, let us discuss one problem regarding this one. Here, the question is to solve the equation x raised to 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35 equal to 0 of which uh, one root is 2 plus i root 3. It is given that 2 plus i root 3 is one root of this equation. And uh, as per the theorem, two, if 2 plus i root 3 is one root of this polynomial equation, then 2 minus i root 3 is also a root of it. Therefore, x minus 2 plus i root 3 into x minus 2 minus i root 3 that can be written as x minus 2 whole square plus 3 that is equal to x square minus 4x plus 7 is a factor of the given polynomial x raised to 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35 equal to 0. Now we can divide this x raised to 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35 by x square minus 4x plus 7. Then you will get uh, x square plus 4x plus 5. As quotient then this is a second degree equation you can solve this second degree equation by using the formula minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a then you will get the roots as minus 4 plus or minus root of 16 minus 20 divided by 2 that is equal to minus 2 plus or minus i 
So the roots of this fourth degree equations are 2 plus i root 3, 2 minus i root 3, then minus 2 plus i and minus 2 minus i. Now in the similar fashion, if we can discuss another theorem. If uh, an equation with rational coefficients, the roots which are quadratic thirds occur in conjugate pairs. That is, if alpha plus root b is a root of this polynomial equation f of x is equal to 0, then the other root will be alpha minus root b. The proof of uh, this theorem as in the proof of the previous theorem. That means x minus alpha plus root, uh, root beta and x minus alpha minus root beta that will be equal to x minus alpha square minus beta. Uh, then divide uh, this polynomial equation by x minus alpha square minus beta then you will get one quotient and one remainder and you can say that uh, this remainder will be equal to zero so you can conclude that alpha minus root beta is also a root of uh, this f of x is equal to zero. Here also we can discuss one problem that is uh, to solve one fourth degree equation x raised to 4 minus 5x cube plus 4x square plus 8x minus 8 equal to zero in which one root is 1 minus root 5. If one root is 1 minus root 5 the other root will be 1 plus root 5. Therefore, x minus 1 minus root 5 is one factor, x minus 1 plus root 5 is another factor. Therefore, their product that will be equal to x minus 1 all square minus 5. On simplification, you will get uh, x square minus 2x minus 4 is a factor of the given polynomial function. Now, we can divide the polynomial function x square x raised to 4 minus 5x cube plus 4x square plus 8x minus 8 by this factor x square minus 2x minus 4 then we will get uh, x square minus 3x plus 2 and we can write that as x minus 2 into x minus 1 therefore the other two roots of uh, the given polynomial equations are 2 and 1. Therefore, the roots of uh, the given polynomial equations are 1 plus root 5, 1 minus root 5, 1 and 2. So, these are the concepts related to the complex roots of a polynomial equation and uh, quadratic thirds as roots of a polynomial equations with uh, rational coefficients. Here we can say that uh, any odd degree polynomial equation should have at least one real root. Okay, we will see the remaining theorems in the next lectures. Thank you.